Zach Stacy, the former New York Jets running back, is on the run, wanted in Orange County. Police say he attacked his ex-girlfriend, as you see right behind us, who was also the mother of his infant son. That attack happening right in front of the baby. This happened in the town of Oakland, west of Orlando, and police tell us they believe Stacy left the state right after this incident. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live right now. And Dave, you spoke to Stacy's ex-girlfriend in an exclusive interview, and she's still very shaken up by all of this. Luann, she's nervous and she's scared, and rightfully so. When we talked to her, she was packing up her things in order to get to a safe place. She tells me that she's scared that Stacy might be coming back. This was just the last straw, I would say. Um, I, I really, truly feel that if it continues, he will kill me. This violent encounter caught on Kristen Evans' home surveillance. She says the attack is coming at the hands of her ex-boyfriend and former NFLer Zach Stacy. You think that was okay? You think that was okay? No, I do not. Please, please, please. Well, every time a car has passed by, uh, I am resisting the urge to look uh, to see who it is. I, I started crying when you walked up because um, I'm scared. You know? Evan spoke with Fox 35 as she hurried to a safe location out of fear Stacy might return. She says Stacy was supposed to turn himself in after police issued a warrant for his arrest, but he has not. We believed he was in Nashville. Um, we're not sure if he's going to be returning to the Orlando area today. There was some word of that. Evans began a relationship with Stacy in August of 2019, which was on and off. In recent months, she says he's gotten more and more physical with her. This was just the last straw, I would say. Um, I, I really, truly feel that if it continues, he will kill me. Um, he he just feels justified in his actions. So there's nothing there's nothing that anyone could do to justify uh, something like that. Evan says that she's filed police reports against Stacy in the past. She said that she went public with this one in order to make sure that it wouldn't be overlooked again. In Oakland, Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. And Dave, Kristen Evans has been posting to Twitter all day. She claims she has filed police reports before, and the state attorney has not picked them up.